Hi, I'm Aaron McAuliffe, the Curator of Exhibits at the Springs Preserve, and I'm continuing our walk through taking a look at some of the sustainable architecture in the Desert Living Center. I'm in the middle of our rotunda in the DLC, and it's a very obvious architectural feature. I'm here on the ground floor of it, and it is reminiscent of a traditional kiva, which is an underground Native American grain storage facility. It's a good place to keep all your grain that you harvested, and uh, it, it's an architectural uh, takeoff on that, but it actually has a practical function. Two that I want to mention to you. First and foremost, during the wintertime, we get a lot of our winds coming in from the south. And the way this is positioned, it actually creates a windbreak for the Desert Living Center meeting rooms. And it actually makes, does it in such a way that we're having to spend less money and energy to help heat the building during the winter time when it's cooler. So that way folks who are having meetings are comfortable in there. The other thing that I want to point out has to do with uh, something that happens during the summertime. And of course, we all know that hot air rises, right? Makes sense, and particularly because this is conically shaped. And during the summertime, when there's a lot of hot air that's always moving, because of the conical shape and all the little doorways and entrances around this rotunda, it creates a little bit of a breeze effect, both in the rotunda and in the corridors uh, leading out of it. And so that way, you've got a little bit of a breeze before you go into a building. Now, as we were developing this site, and anybody who's, a, who's built a home in Southern Nevada knows, we have a lot of caliche. Caliche is that hard, concretic ground that might be eight inches below the surface up to maybe three or four feet. We had a lot of that here on site. Um, we didn't just want to haul it off. We want to be able to use it as much as possible. So in some cases, we use it as parts of dry wash, other areas, we use it to kind of shield away things. But in this particular case, behind me, we use it to kind of build the back of some benches. So those are some large caliche boulders directly behind me, and that's that hard, concretic earth here that we have here in Southern Nevada, which is really a remnant of millions of years ago, we were actually an underground ocean. And that's basically all the millions of invertebrates, all the bivalves, all the clams, things like that. It's their shells, which eventually became the Kale uh, a major component of the caliche that we have in the ground today. Now, a couple other things I want to point out while we're here. Uh, one of them has to do with, again, fooling your brain before you go into a building. We are underneath some bridges that are of the, uh, on the second floor area. And so as folks enter in the building off to my left, it cools them off. So again, we're kind of fooling your brain, so we're not having to crank the air conditioning so much during the summertime. Um, the other thing I want to point out is this structure over here. This metal structure has a number of vines and creepers uh, coming over it. Now that we're just at the beginning of spring, you can kind of see them starting to crest. And what they do is, of course, they provide shade as well, but they also uh, in respire. That means they're going to give off their own little bit of humidity. So it creates a little bit of microclimate here. Little area gets a little bit of hu humidity. It cools, your, your, cools you off a little bit so your brain doesn't think that you need as much air conditioning when you walk into the buildings behind us.